Hello everyone, uh, this is Uniwara GV, back with another video about Minecraft. I know it has been a very long time, but uh, that's because I'm actually focusing on other stuff. Uh, YouTube is not really my future uh, at the moment. Um, I'm just using YouTube to share creative ideas uh, such as this one. So, um, with the upcoming update of Minecraft 1.13, uh, there are some really cool command tricks you can do. So currently I'm in snapshot 18w6a, um, and one of the changes that I'm currently using is this. Um, so you probably know uh, these signs, which is used for relative coordinates. However, they uh, added these as well, which is also relative coordinates, but instead of using the world axis, it is using uh, the axis of the executor. So the first one is your left and right axis, this one is your up and down axis, and this one is your forward or backward axis. With this, you can create an aiming system, uh, which in previous versions you needed like 100 plus commands for, uh, like each command detected the player in what direction he was looking at. And now you can just make an aiming system with uh, four core commands, five for the particles. So to, uh, to do this, um, I'm gonna give myself a uh, carrot uh, on a uh, stick with uh, the tag fire wand. You can give this whatever tag you want. Voila. So I'm just gonna demonstrate. Uh, so if I right click, I shoot a fireball. And I can shoot multiple fireballs in any direction I want. So it's actually quite accurate. A little bit, a little bit changed, and you see it is like pretty good. You know, for for that we needed like a ton of commands. Just gonna quickly delete those because I don't have like an automated delete function. So how does this work? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to detect whenever I right click with a carrot on a stick. So there is a scoreboard uh, thing you can do. Uh, so scoreboard objectives add uh, objective which was shoot one I guess, and it was um, Minecraft. Uh, dot used uh, Minecraft dot carrot on a stick, right? That that was uh, the command. So whenever I right click with this, I get uh, I add up uh, by one for that score. So that's uh, this loop command is trying to detect uh, if I just uh, sh uh, right clicked with it and if the current item I'm holding has a tag of a fire wand. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to summon an armor stand in front of me. So notice these new things. So this is the forward axis. I'm going to summon the arm, an armor stand in front of me with the tag fireball and spell so I can later target it. It has no gravity, it is invisible and I cannot hit it. Um, I'm maybe going to show you quickly, uh, like with without the invisible on. You see, it's just an armor stand that, as you see, it like quickly rotated towards me, and and then it's teleporting away. So that is a very important detail. I'm quickly going to put this invisibility uh, back on. So now I need to make sure if I want to like move the uh, target using its own axis. I need to make sure it is going uh, into the uh, direction I'm looking. So this means I need to let that armor stand face me. So that's why this command is for. So um, so the first off, we need to make sure that uh, that armor stand runs uh, this command, which is a TP at an entity uh, which has attack fireball. Uh, only one entity and a sort on nearest. And this is important, otherwise fireballs have the intention of teleporting other fireballs to them. So I'm going to teleport them a little bit up and this is necessary because um, you can do this. So facing 
entity uh, the closest player. So I tell the armor stand uh, that with attack fireball to face the closest player, which is probably the player that costed the fireball. But this command will not work unless he moves a little bit. So that's why this 0 0.02 upward is important. Now, this needs to, of course, to be the entity that is the closest to me. So, bef so uh, what I do is um, I execute this, fir this command first at me to, or at the player that just has a shoot score of one and has the fire wand in its hand so that I can then uh, execute at the closest fireball, which I just costed, to run that specific command. All right, uh, when that is done, then there is a reset, uh, which also uses one of the new execute things. So it's execute if score of, uh, of the closest player um, of shoot one is higher than true of type bull. So this is not actually a boolean, it, it's actually a dummy objective I created called bull, and I made it a fake player called true, because apparently I cannot put one in there. Then, then it is going to look for uh, a player called one. So that that's that's that. Okay. So uh, so I uh, run the command scoreboard player set um, the closest player of shoot one to zero at any player that has a higher score than uh, zero, or like a higher or equal score as one. Um, so. Otherwise, if, if this doesn't uh, reset, you, you're going to summon fireballs constantly. So then um, I have this command, which is also running constantly. So I'm executing at an entity with attack fireball to run the particle command flame uh, with uh, this position. So it's kind of at the, uh, at the stomach, not at the feet. Um, zero spread. Uh, with a speed of uh, 0 0.01 and with only 25 particles. All right, which then also executes the teleportation command. So what this does is this executes at any fireball and to TP um, themselves uh, backwards. This is important because they are facing us. So this means they are, have to teleport backwards. And uh, this is also important to the limits one sort nearest because otherwise it's going to teleport uh, other fireballs to them. Okay, so this, this only targets themselves. Um, I will put the commands in the description, uh, but uh, that was it. If you want a little bit more of a detailed uh, tutorial like of every single command if I need to explain a little bit better uh, let me know in the comment section and um, yeah if you think this is, was a very useful command uh, leave a like and uh, yeah I will see you guys when I find something more interesting uh, bye bye